All right, so this is another uh, Tinea Versicolor video. It's going to be very short, uh, just a little tip video. Um, listen, a lot of the short videos that I have about Tinea Versicolor, they're like tip videos. They're important, but if you're just going to watch one video of mine, uh, make sure you watch the video that's just called How to Cure Tinea Versicolor, okay? That's the cure. That's the most important thing. Everything else is just like tips and whatnot. It's important, but watch that video. Okay. This video is about hygiene, specifically sweat buildup and what you know, how to handle it as somebody with tinea versicolor. So, example, you're at the gym, you're sweating. You need to shower ASAP. Like, as soon as possible, you need to get in a shower and get the sweat off you. Now, obviously, that applies to anybody and everybody, but for you with TV, you cannot afford to, like, have that, um, that sweat build up too much, okay? You can't, like, afford to go to the gym and then not shower for, like, several hours later, okay? Uh, because, of, uh, because of your condition, you know? You got the yeast. You got an overgrowth of yeast. And if you uh, are not on top of your hygiene with the, the sweating and all that, what's going to happen is it's going to take longer for your condition to get fixed and... It's going to uh, get really irritated and very itchy, and it, you're just going to be in pain. It's not going to be nice. So everybody and anybody should obviously be uh, practicing good hygiene, but if you're someone with TV, you've got to get that sweat off you as soon as possible. Not just in the gym, but sweat, period. Like if it's a hot summer day and whatever, and you're sweating, well, as soon as you can, get to a shower, get it off. Other bit of advice would be um, to exfoliate. Uh, listen guys, if you're a guy and you're thinking like, oh, exfoliating, that's for girls, what are you, a pussy? Um, yes, yes I am, I am a pussy, and I exfoliate, and I'm proud of it, but get a, uh, get a full body exfoliator, like a body scrub, um, one that's, you know, somewhat natural, whatever that means, um, and, uh, yeah, put that, you don't have to use it every day, maybe like three, four times a week or something, uh, the whole point of exfoliating is to remove dead skins just to get rid of stuff that is old and get it off you um to, you know it's it's like cleansing your skin it's a little different though um so get a uh, exfoliator that's going to help you with the tv but it's just going to even if you didn't have tv i'd recommend you use a, an exfoliator and uh yeah that's it so sweat build up be on top of that get in the shower get the sweat off you you cannot afford to have that build up use an exfoliator uh, body scrub style, like a full body one, not one for your face. Like you can, you can do that. You can get a, an exfoliator for your face, but I'm talking about a body scrub. Um, yeah, that's it. Let me think. That's it. That's all. Yeah, that's it. So get on top of that. Be hygienic. Don't be one of these people that smell bad all the goddamn time. All right. Good luck.